What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to have a little story time with this whole Rob Riches thing. Robbie Reaches, Rob Riches, whatever the fuck his name is. I didn't follow this guy at all. I didn't even know who the fuck he was. I follow 3DMJ, I follow Ogus, I follow Lovato, Yucky Lovato, whatever the fuck he calls himself. And Ice Cream Fitness, Tiger Fitness, all these guys, Big J Extreme, Hodge Twins. But not this guy. I didn't know who the fuck he was. So... All of a sudden, some haters, which, by the way, a lot of these accounts are trolled. They're made-up accounts that are specifically used by loser, punk-ass trolls to literally go out there and spam the hell out of your page and try to get you in trouble. This happened with one of my videos, and they blatantly talked about it in an open forum on Facebook about how they created, forum, uh, created accounts to get me in trouble. So that stuff has since then been passed on to YouTube. So it's now a fact that YouTube's aware that this is happening. And we'll hopefully we'll just see these guys with suspended accounts all the way around, which would be great because they're abusing the system, not us. Now, Rob came out and said that he was, he had tested positive for a stimulant. Now, how many people use craze? How many natural bodybuilders use craze? I've never heard of one natural bodybuilder so far testing positive for anything with this. Now, I'm not saying it couldn't happen, because I tested positive for a, um, amphetamine when I was in college trying to get a job, and I had taken Sudafed for a cold. And they asked me straight out, did you take any cold medications? Yes. Okay, do me a favor. Don't take it for two days. Come back. Take another blood test. Or take another pee test. And I came back, and it was clean. And it was fine. So you definitely can get a false positive. But if a lot of these natural bodybuilders are taking craze, and none of them are testing positive, or let's just say a few of them did test positive for it, don't you think they would be all over the forums? Word spreads like that about a product. It would be all over the forums. Bodybuilding.com, Get Big would have it almost instantaneously. I have no idea how they find their shit out. Professional Muscle, it would be on there saying, look guys, if you're going to compete naturally, don't take this stuff because you're going to get popped and disqualified for it. Never heard one thing about it. Never heard one thing about Jack 3D testing anyone positive, which was like the king of all kings when it came out as far as pre-workout stims. And now this guy comes out and says, well, this is what did it. Okay, so first of all, he showed a, a printout of the, uh, the test. It says it was this, this purple haze, craze, whatever the hell it is. Do you know how fast that can be made on a computer and put up? Do you realize it could take a matter of minutes? Here's where story time, I got two stories for you. Story time part one begins with, I was working at a gym and one of the sales guys wanted to be a trainer. And to be a trainer, you have to have a national certification. Well, I watched them make a NASM certification in about three minutes from a cert that they had where they scanned it, took the name out, put his name in it, printed it out, put it on the right paper, and he now was suddenly certified by NASM. Walked up to the, the boss, gave it to him, said, I got my certification last weekend. Here it is. He was now a trainer. It took three minutes for that to be done. And it was so legit that it looked exactly like the other ones that the, the boss had in the drawer. They couldn't tell the difference. I watched it happen. Now, story time part two. <laughs> this is a good one. There is a football player up there where I used to live. The kid was amazing. Fast, big, strong, hit like a Mack truck. And, I mean, he would hit you and you'd be laying on the ground going, What the fuck am I doing? You're, I got a face mask on. I'm playing football. What the fuck is going on? He hit you so hard you didn't even know where you were. And he went on to play in the pros. Lo and behold, this guy got busted. He got caught for doping. His testosterone level was high. So he immediately blamed it on a supplement. He brought the can into the, to the um, testing facility. They tested it and they found androstein dion in it. Or androstein, androstein dion. One of those pro-hormones that can boost your testosterone and make you test positive. Now... Rather than just take his word for it, which they can't do, they went to several different GNCs and bought cans of the same product. They even went to the one where he claims he bought that product and bought the same lot and batch number and took that one and analyzed it. There was nothing in it. Nothing at all. He lied. He had actually taken what they think happened. He actually took the capsules of androstein dion or androstein, opened them up, dumped them in the protein powder, shook the friggin' jug up, and then walked in and handed it to them and said, this is what did it. Okay, so he blamed it on the supplement, but they weren't stupid. They said, okay, you know what? Let me, you know, we're going to investigate this. We'll get back to you. And this was like the NFL. So it's not like it was some 
cheesy high school thing or whatever. This guy was playing in the NFL now. And, of course, he didn't get... He gets suspended or whatever it was, or fined or whatever the fuck it was. Because he did say, well, it was that product. You know, this is what I tested positive for. It's not actually steroids. The guy was on gear. Everybody knew it. He was on it when he was in high school. He talked about it. Everybody knew it. But the bottom line was he blamed it on a supplement. This is nothing new for someone to get in trouble, test positive, and blame it on a supplement. Now, I'm not saying that Rob did or didn't take a supplement that had something in it. I'm not saying that he was on steroids. I'm not bashing him. I'm not busting his balls. But... There are guys that I know in the muscle mania, okay, in the muscle mania, drug free, that look like this guy Rob, that take growth hormone, testosterone suspension, amongst other things, and I thought they were clean until one day, one day, they said, Jerry, can you get suspension? I said, for who? He's like, I need it. If you can get growth hormone, let me know. This is going back years. I said, like, what? Like, dude, you're one of the best in the fucking country. Natural bodybuilders. And you're on drugs? He's like, well, I just take them up till a week before the show or whatever. He was on. There was another guy that I'm aware of, completely aware of, who's from around here. And he was lifting for a team from another country for the Olympics. Actually, Olympic lifting in the Olympics. And his opening lift at the Olympics, he would have won the gold medal. But he never got to the Olympics. In America, they went through a whole big process of testing his blood when they gave him testosterone suspension, finding out when it peaked, finding out when it came down, finding out when it cleared his system, and how much strength he was losing for how long he was being off it, and how to run the cycles. They spent a lot of time in the lab with this guy. It was detailed down to the most minute detail on how to keep these drugs in his system, get the effects, and get it out so he passed the test. He was doing phenomenal, and he was instantly going to be in his kilo class or whatever, weight class or whatever you call it, was going to win the gold medal for his country. Bottom line, hands down, he was that good. He went back to his country for four weeks to train before the Olympics. This guy tested positive at the Olympics before they even lifted. Whatever they had given him over there, which I'm assuming it was the same thing he was using here, testosterone suspension, it's the Nazolol metabolites, wind straw, that looks just like testosterone suspension. And over there, it's very cheap. Where he, his country was very cheap, which means that they were probably about the same price. So if the guy didn't have any... You know, Winstrel, he, uh, suspension, he was buying it from. He just ripped the label off and go, here you go. He's making the same amount of money. It looks the same. He's going to give him results. Who cares? Tested positive for the Olympics. He had to sit out. and he was, He's looking at a uh, five-year ban from the Olympic uh, um, training center. He can't go back for like five years or whatever it is. And all of this because he mistimed his dosing schedule after all that time and money was spent on making sure that he would pass it. Unbelievable. So you guys understand now that I'm not talking out of my ass. I'm talking from a lot of experience in field, real life, in person experience over and over again that I've seen. And whether this guy Rob really took Anavar or he did test positive for whatever that thing is, the bottom line is even if he was using that methamphetamine thing, that analog that's in craze, even if that's true, he's no longer natural. He's taking a fucking methamphetamine to work harder. He's saying, well, you know, I would just take it to work out harder. Well, if you can train harder and you can recover, then technically you have an advantage. So if you're the only one using this craze out of all the guys that are competing and it has that in it, you had an advantage. Biostreetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. www.biostreetraining.com is the blog and we're out.